Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profodic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Vue.js tutorial for beginners in Hindi and this is our part 10. In this video session guys, we will discuss about two-way data binding that is basics of vmodel in our previous video sessions guys we have covered so many things in Vue.js tutorial so if this is your first video session guys and i strongly suggest you to watch our previous video session to make the clear vision about this video session and also guys if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our rest tutorials okay so basically guys ye rahi wo file that is video 10.html and video 10.js and this is vue.js that is library file okay so right now what we did we have made a simple html structure and simple js structure okay so is video session mein guys hum two way data binding ke bare mein padhne wale hain okay so let's make a text box let's say text okay so right now let me remove all these attributes okay ab main kya karunga guys yahan par hum ek event attach karne wale hain that is called key press okay so let's say that key press okay aur key press karte hi main ek function fire karne wala hu that is called key press function okay so just main copy karunga is function ke name ko main jaunga methods ke andar and let me define that key press it's a method inside this property and let's say that console.log this is called simple message okay so just save this file and now save this file again go to browser refresh this page and let's clear out console let's say s a n j y six times the message we got okay so successfully we have integrated the key press event with this text box okay so what actually we will do let's define a variable inside this data property and let's say that character ओके राइट नाउ इट इज ब्लैंक ओके सो मैं क्या करूंगा जस्ट लेट्स से बी आर टैग एंड लेट्स से दैट कैरेक्टर ओके दिस इज द प्रॉपर्टी एक्चुअली वी हैव डिफाइंड विद इन दिस डेटा ऑब्जेक्ट ओके राइट नाउ नो वैल्यू एक्चुअली इट कंटेन्स मैं चाहता हूं गाइस कि जब भी हम कोई कैरेक्टर प्रेस करें अपने इस टेक्स्ट बॉक्स के अंदर सो जो कैरेक्टर हम प्रेस करेंगे उस कैरेक्टर को हम यहां शो करना चाहते हैं विद इन दिस प्रॉपर्टी okay so how can we achieve that so this is the function actually fired when we press any key inside this text box okay so just i am getting the event object let's say event and if you have remembered then this dot character equal to event dot key okay event dot key actually gives you the value of the pressed key if we make just make console before this line console.log and let's see that event okay so when we save this file just go to browser refresh this page and let's type a character called s and as you can see that the event actually fired and this is the event object okay which contains the value of key something called s so that's why we have taken that is key event event dot key basically it gives you the value of this character and that is s okay so when we press any key inside the text box guys then the pressed key will be reflected right here okay so let's spray it online as you can see all the characters are reflected here space wave tutor and the last character that i have pressed something called r and this is the r value ओके सो समथिंग व्हाट वी डिड हमने क्या किया गाइस समथिंग हमने उस कैरेक्टर को प्रिंट किया एंड दिस कैरेक्टर एक्चुअली चेंज्ड बाय दिस की प्रेस इवेंट ओके सो बेसिकली दिस इज आल्सो नोन एज डेटा बाइंडिंग ओके सो मैं क्या करने वाला हूं गाइस जस्ट इसे रिमूव करूंगा बिकॉज़ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न कॉल्ड टू वे डेटा बाइंडिंग दैट इज द कांसेप्ट ऑफ और यू कैन से दैट बेसिक्स ऑफ वी मॉडल डायरेक्टिव सो लेट्स से दैट वी model and inside this double quotes so let's say characters so just make copy of that and paste it here okay so when we save this file right now character does not contain any value okay so when we save this file refresh this page as you can see no value is appeared here and no values right here okay so just i am pressing o n online space wave tutor as you can see when we type any character inside this text box the same value reflected right here okay so how is it possible so just back to editor so when we pressing any key jab bhi hum koi key press kar rahe hain guys then v model directive actually what it does it 
actually changes the value, updates the value of this data object that is character. जब भी हम किसी की को प्रेस करते हैं, then V model directive character property को update करती है. Okay, And that's why we are getting the character value right here. Okay, so this is called two-way data binding. जब भी हम किसी की को प्रेस कर रहे हैं, then it also updates the character property as well as it updates the character right here which is in html dom element okay document object model here two way means that one time it updates right here and one time it updates the html element okay so this is called two way data binding in which we are entering any values inside this text box then after entering any key it actually updates the corresponding value of this character property and also it reflects back to this html element okay so this is called two way data binding so let's make a form so just i am going to press b a tag and let's say that form inside this form tag so i am going to make two input type text box okay so let's that input type text box which contains let's say v model it contains value called name okay and another input type field let's say be a tag let's say placeholder name here okay and the next input type text box which contains the email value so just get rid of all these let's say placeholder and email is here okay and let's say v model and it contains the value of email okay so let's say email okay and also it contains curly pairs it contains the value of name and it also contains the email value ओके okay, हमने क्या किया दो टेक्स्ट बॉक्सेस हमने बनाए जहां पर हमने वी मॉडल डायरेक्टिव यूज किया फॉर टू ए डेटा बाइंडिंग सो जब भी हम किसी की को प्रेस करेंगे दिस वी मॉडल डायरेक्टिव एक्चुअली अपडेट्स द नेम वैल्यू प्रॉपर्टी एंड आल्सो विद द एचटीएमएल एलिमेंट ओके सो सेम व्हेन वी प्रेस एनी की इनसाइड दिस टेक्स्ट बॉक्स देन इट अपडेट्स द वैल्यू ऑफ ईमेल एज़ वेल एज़ एचटीएमएल प्रॉपर्टी ओके सो लेट्स डिफाइन नेम एंड लेट्स से नेम blank and let's say email okay blank so just save this file go to browser refresh this page let's say that sanjay as you can see it reflects and changes right here and let's say that dummy email sanjay at gmail.com it has updated also okay so successfully guys this is an example of two-way data binding also instead of empty value if we refresh this page as you can see no value has been actually there okay so let's make a default value called sanjay and sanjay at gmail.com so when we save this file just refresh this page as you can see these are values why kyunki humne un dono values ko static rakha hua hai so that's why it is binding this value right inside this v model as well as inside this html element okay so this is an example of two way data binding so i think guys by the help of this basic example i have made much more clear concept about v model directive as well as the basic concept of two way data binding so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then just drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day